Hugh, this year's National Western Stock Show was one for the record books. Final attendance tally shows more than 702,000 guests visited the stock show this year. That is the fourth highest attended show in its nearly 117-year history. Our Connor McHugh spent some time at the stock show. In the draft horse business, success starts with attention to detail. And few exhibitors know their craft or team, like Brian Coleman with Mark Messenger Memorial Hitch. Oh yeah, you get to figure out all their personalities and their little quirks and kind of, you know, what their habits are when they get to a, a new place. For more than 30 years now, Coleman has made the long drive from Alberta to Denver to come to the National Western Stock Show. While one of many events on his busy calendar, it's among the most meaningful. It just has such a rich history in uh, Western events and livestock events. It also requires loads of work from the moment he and his team arrive. They bring enough hay for multiple days and more gear than you can imagine. Not only does it take days to get down here, it takes hours to get these majestic horses ready for show. Each buckle and every braid an evolution of this event's humble Western roots. In the way that, you know, NASCAR has grown from its origins, we've kind of grown from our origins into what we have today. With the horses and hitch spiffed up, Coleman now makes the short but nerve-wracking trip to the stadium where the real competition begins. In just a few laps, he'll be judged on his horse's size and uniformity. 118. 131. His partner Kirk is the first to hear the news. Mark Messenger Memorial Hitch winners once again. Very special. Always special. <laughs> it was kind of neat because they they wanted here last year, so it's kind of a two time for those two horses.